Hi guys, it's Team Clash. I want to give you some main advice to help you to improve your game results in solo showdown mode. In this mode, every player fights by himself, so your skills on a particular brawler is checked, but the right tactic has big influence on your game results as well. So in this video, I'm going to share with you game tactics for tanky brawlers such as El Primo, Frank, Bull and Dale in solo showdown mode. Tanky brawlers has high health points, high damage, but not very far attack range. We should also note that the movement speed of these brawlers is higher than of other ones, except Mortis and Crow. The best map for them is the map with a lot of bushes, so depending on the map we'll have two different tactics. The main goal at the start of the game is to get as many buff crates as possible. So run to the nearest place where there are the most crates and don't waste time for other brawlers. The tanky brawlers are good at close distance fights, so they can easily take crates at the start of the game. Just try to do not get damaged when you take a buff. Next, find the fighting brawlers and take a position so that one of them will be between you and another brawler. Use bushes or wall to be in this position safely. If the brawler in the middle comes closer to you, go out from your hideout to kill him. Otherwise, try to frighten the brawler in the middle so that he would run to another brawler's direction. This way you will make them fight each other and then you would just kill the remaining one or just take a trophy. If you have a lot of buffs like more than 7, you can just stay in a bush and wait when the poisonous fog will force enemies to come closer. But if you want some action, just continue to use the tactic above. When there are only 3 brawlers left, it's desirable to have super abilities so you can eliminate enemies easily. The key difference of gameplay on maps with a lot of bushes is the beginning of the game. Since on this map there will be a lot of tanky brawlers like you, so it will be extremely hot at those places with many buff crates. And if you go there immediately, there is a high probability that you will be killed after showing yourself. Thus, at the start of the game, the goal is to take as many crates as possible as safe places. Next, you can use the right tactic above to gain more buffs for the win. So guys, this is the end of our video, try this tactic in your next game, good luck and see you soon!